In this video, we're going to go over top five website builders, and that's all you ever need for any website project. Without further ado, let's jump in. So the first up, we were looking at Wix AI website builder. If you're not familiar, Wix is one of the oldest and most robust platform out there for building websites. And of course, they have their AI builder. I think Wix is a good pick if you're trying to build something for longevity, for robustness and something you would want to scale in the future. We're going to create with AI. So here, when we start off with the AI builder in Wix, we get this chat interface. I like this approach, you know, kind of makes it less overwhelming for anyone who's just getting started. We're just going to say here, create a website for Ocean Wonders Aquarium, showcasing marine life exhibits and visitor information. That's all I'm going to say. And I have like, you know, a follow up question here. It asks me to give it a domain. So we're just going to say here, Ocean Wonders, and then it asks me what kind of services or items I want to offer in the website. So I'm just going to say ticket bookings, visitor information and exhibit details. And it says if I have any specific goals for this website. You know, just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to say here, no. And then it asks me to give a bit of a history. So I think this is probably about the about section on the website. So I'm just going to here just kind of put, you know, 20 years helping conserve local marine life. I can skip any questions I want, but let's just kind of keep going with it. And then here on the right side, we kind of get to see like the site profile. So the type of the site, you know, the applications we're adding onto the site, the location, the goals, the audience and all that stuff. So the tone of voice, it's all added automatically. And then if we're happy with it, we just say like, okay, build me the website. Now it's going to do its thing. It gets a site brief. And here we have our first version of the website. It looks pretty clean. We have like a hero section up top, just talks about the website. We have services, which has options to book the tickets and like payments and all that stuff. That's kind of cool. But what I like here is that the first version of AI websites is not going to be perfect. It's highly unlikely you're going to like put in prompt and be like, cool, this is exactly what I needed. It's done. It's going to happen in the future, hopefully, but nothing right now. I like here the part that like, you know, the site brief, you have certain options, kind of like variables, like site profile, structure, description, theme, layout, and whichever thing you're not happy with, you can just click on it. And you can, again, chat with the AI to fix that or chat with the AI to tell it what you want to change. So you can maybe work with the website and then, you know, perfect your design a little bit without working with an external designer or somebody who knows how to build sites. And uh, once you're happy with the design, you can just kind of go into the editor if you just want to do fine tuning things or, you know, if you just want to connect your bookings and everything else. So I like the fact that you can kind of do the overall layout of the website, but also, you know, because it's within the Wix, you get all that powerful functionality. If you're in e-commerce, you can like connect your all the products and everything. If you are a hotel, you can connect your like hotel booking system and all that stuff. So I like how it's integrated within Wix so you can get to use all the powerful functionality Wix offers. Moving on to our second tool. Now we're looking at is this popular AI app called Dora.run. You might have seen it across your socials already, but let's give it a spin. Let's see if it's actually good. So again, we're going to use our similar prompt as before, and then it's going to ask you to sign up, but it kind of doesn't register the prompt you said earlier. So might as well sign up for free first before you're trying to do your pay generation. So we're in here is the dashboard. Right up top, it says generate sites using AI. So we just kind of put in our prompt here. And then I like how they have a prompt option. They also have a style option. So you can like, you know, just kind of break up your prompt. You can use one of the presets or I'm just going to do the custom one, which we have done before. So I'm just going to see here my prompt, same as before, a landing page for Ocean Wonders Aquarium, showcasing marine life exhibits and visitor information. And I'm going to do like my style is ocean inspired design with blue and teal colors, featuring high quality underwater images throughout. Cool. So we get about 100 credits to start off with. And, you know, like I think every preview is going to take some credits based on probably how big your project is going to be. So it takes about a few seconds. And now we have two different versions of the path. It's not generated yet. So we get to pick whichever version if it kind of resonates with you. If not, you can work with the prompt again, you know, do more generations. But, you know, just for the sake of the demo, let's just pick one of the versions and then just click on it. Now it's going to generate the whole project with that version. I actually like how it was able to understand the aquarium concept and the design actually is on point with the whole theme. I could easily see this as like, you know, a local city aquarium website with this kind of design. And of course, you can edit uh, the design, the images and all the text and all and all that stuff. But it doesn't have the functionality to like, you know, work with the AI to make those changes of the layout and stuff. So I guess from that perspective, 
fact that Wix maybe does a better job because you can just do that, you know, layout design changes and chat with the AI to improve the design. Here we only have one shot if the preview is good or not. And then you just kind of get onto the site. The other thing about this one is this is like good for more simpler websites like portfolio, like anything that doesn't require like deeper interaction with the user, like bookings or commerce or whatnot. But just for a static website where you have information, so maybe your agency, consultation website, business services, portfolio, I think it's pretty good for that kind of stuff because like the website that's being generated is pretty on point and it's got a decent design and it's mostly static. Moving on, now we're gonna look at Framer. If you have never heard of Framer, Framer is again, one of like the more upcoming platforms. It's got a growing community around it now because you can do a lot of cool stuff within Framer, but we're gonna look at specifically to its AI website builder. Again, once you're signed in to the Framer, you have an option here to create a page and then we're just gonna do AI. So again, we're gonna use our similar prompt as before, which is to create a website for Ocean Wonders Aquarium, showcasing the marine life exhibits, yada, yada, yada. So we're using the same prompt. Let's see what we get. One thing I like about Framer is that right off the bat, it kind of gives you a version for like all the aspect ratios. So you get the desktop ones, you get the tablet one, and you get the phone one, which is pretty cool. You kind of get to see the glance of like how it's gonna look across different devices right away. Okay, here's the design. I don't think that's a teal color, but that's okay. So we get the overall structure of the design and we get like all the placements and stuff, but I feel like it didn't do as good of a job with the AI as like the other platforms did. The one with the Wix, we got the design was pretty on point, those services and all that stuff. The one with the Dora, again, the design was pretty on point. This one, I feel like missed the mark a little bit, but you can get, you know, like a rough structure of the website so you can like maybe play around with it. Maybe like the prompting here works differently. But yeah, like, you know, compared to the two, this one didn't do as good of a job with the AI, in my opinion here, with the prompt I used. That's Framer. It is pretty powerful. It's one of the easiest platforms to use to like build a quick website. So again, you know, it's cheapest to host as well, you know, just within the whole thing, you can put your domain and you can kind of like make the website live. So it's pretty good from that perspective. But yeah, still gives you a good start. You get a bit of a layout structure to do. Speaking of layout, if that's the approach you want to take where you want to build websites with more of a modular approach. You don't want AI to like just kind of get to the finish point. We're moving on to our next tool. This is called Reloom.io. I think this is super useful for people who like working with those finer details off the bat versus like getting to the end goal right away. The way Reloom works in like three stages. So the first stage is it generates you like the sitemap. So if you're not familiar with sitemap, it's kind of like the architecture of your whole website. Let's just do our same prompt. Uh, so we're just gonna remove the styling part of it here in our prompt uh, that we used before because we're just doing the wireframing here and we hit generate. Now we get the sitemap, which is kind of like a flowchart, but think of like, it talks about the whole structure of your website. You know, all the different sections and pages you have on your homepage, all the different pages that connect from your homepage and like what's part of all those different pages. And you can like move around these sections, you can delete those sections, whatever you do don't need. For example, it's an aquarium website. We don't have benefits section, so we're gonna delete that how it works. We don't need that. We're going to delete that here for the exhibit. We're just going to generate content. Now we get to see like the header section, the features, like, you know, different sections of the exhibit, the visitor information section. So again, once I'm happy with like the whole overall structure of my website, I'm just going to move here to the wireframe tab. And now I have like a low fidelity version of my website. You know, if it's a house, we're like putting all the walls, we're putting like, you know, the door frames and everything, but we still need to pick like, you know, what paneling to do, what colors to do, all the furniture and all that stuff so it's pretty good because like we can just you know without getting into all those details we can fine tune we can refine our structure of the website and then maybe pass it on to a designer or use a separate tool to kind of get this design to the eventual goal so you can like you know go to every component and you can just kind of replace the component or regenerate copy so you can kind of like you know work with the ai to fix your structure the way you want it to and once you're happy you can export it to a figma project or a webflow project it's one of the popular uh, website builders again no code but does require a bit of a learning curve or Figma, which is where you can like, you know, work with the high fidelity mockups and you can use other AI tools to get into a website builder automatically. But yeah, this is Reloom, super useful. 
All right, moving on. Now we're gonna look at this tool called Wizard. It's called Wizard, but it's spelled like UI Zard, which is kind of like a clever play on the UI, like user interface. Anyway, all we're gonna do is sign up, get into the free account, and we're gonna generate with Auto Designer, and we're gonna put our prompt. So here you can pick for the design, the platform you're designing for, be it mobile, tablet, or desktop. So we've been just doing desktop throughout the demo, so we're just gonna stick with that. I'm gonna use the same prompt, which we have used before. We're gonna hit continue. Now it asks for like a bit of a preferred style, so again, just pick whatever style that resonates with your project theme. It's not a website builder, but it's more like a, you know, mock-up generator. So we get to see what the mock-up's gonna be like. I actually loved what they did. I could easily see like so many websites, like right now that are out there, be around these themes. So I actually like what they did with the design. It's got like the very like aquarium theme. Just the whole structure just feels very like aquarium like you know very like public organization website kind of feel is this the great design or not that's very subjective and to each individual but i do like what they did with the design here you can like take the screenshots and use the ai tool to like get the screenshot into a design automatically or you can export in from the dev mode and just like you know work with the developer and then they're gonna like turn the whole thing into the code that it can you know put in on your website to like actually make it work so these are like the top five ai website builders that will help you, you know, like brainstorm ideas, build wireframes, build a whole project, like connect it to all this payments app or bookings app and everything, whatever you might need, it's all there. So if you have never built a website before, pick any of these five tools, give it a shot and see how it empowering it feels to be able to like go from your idea to actual product. Fun fact, if you're using tools like Wix, you have so many pre-built automations with Zapier already. So if you wanna like automate part of your operations once your website is built, you know, like the, the email forms being submitted, any action being taken by the user, so many pre-built automations with Zapier already. Likewise, if you're using Webflow, again, so many automations pre-built on Zapier's platform that can help you automate so much work if you do decide to use Webflow for your project. Anyway, I hope you feel inspired it got some creative juices flowing. You feel empowered that you can do this yourself. If you like learn something new, something click, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next videos.